The Hermes Kelly bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly bag comes with a storied history and took about 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. The Hermes Kelly bag evolved from a bag produced by Hermes in 1892, known as the Hut à Kuroa, designed and manufactured for French nobility to hold essential equestrian gear. The signature flap secured over the single rolled handles, leather sangles, metal plaque and tourette were all part of this original design. The Hut à Kuroa was known for its high leather belt and high top handles. In 1928, the Hut à Kuroa was reimagined and adapted into a smaller, compact handbag called the Sacre de Peches. The Kelly bag was originally called the Sacre de Peches, which translates to dispatch bag, and was used by prominent elites when updated and reintroduced in 1935. Shortly after, it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American-born actress turned Monaco princess, Grace Kelly. The princess embodied innate elegance and oozed pure class in the 70s. Alfred Hitchcock, the famous director, also shares credit in the success of the Hermes Kelly bag, as it was he who allowed his head costume designer to purchase Hermes items for his film To Catch a Thief, which starred Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere, and on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sacre de Peches the Kelly Bag, and it was eventually renamed to the Kelly in 1977. The Hermes Kelly Bag has a strong trapezoidal structured shape with slightly curved edges. The Hermes Kelly bag features a sculpted top handle and has two straps that meet over the front flap of the bag known as the sangles. The Kelly bag features triangular gusset sides and opens up to a leather lined interior with a single open main compartment and a zip pocket on the rear side of the bag. In addition to two slip pockets, the Hermes Kelly bag is also adorned with signature hardware elements from the clasp to the studded feet known as the clue and also the lock and key that sits in the leather lanyard known as the clochette. The Hermes Kelly hardware is usually offered in either a gold plated or palladium finish. Other variations come in a 24 karat plated gold and palladium finish. Lastly, the gold stamp that says Hermes Paris gives the final seal. The Hermes Kelly bag is available in eight different sizes, with the number relating to the length of the base of the bag in centimeters. We have the Kelly 15, the Kelly 20, the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32, the Kelly 35, the Kelly 40, and the Kelly 50. The Kelly 40 and 50 tend to work better for travel. The most common sizes of the Kelly are the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32 and the Kelly 35. All great choices for everyday wear. The Hermes Kelly bag comes in two distinct styles, the Cellier and the Return style. The Cellier style is the older variation and is defined by the sharp pointed out edges that reveals a clearly visible top stitch and resin edge coat, giving the Hermes Kelly bag a more rigid structure as this version of the Hermes Kelly bag is made of three layers of leather, including the goatskin lining. The Kelly Cellier incorporates a stiffening layer between the outer leather and inner lining. The Hermes Cellier is also stitched from the outside in, giving the Kelly Cellier a more sophisticated, formal and ladylike look. The Kelly Cellier therefore comes in leathers such as Epsom, box and forged leather. There is also the Kelly Cellier Mew variation, with Mew meaning soft. This is the more relaxed version of the Kelly Cellier 
and does not have the extra layer of leather lining found in most Kelly bags. Typically, all mini Hermes Kelly bags are manufactured in the Cellier style in Epsom or Chevre leather, and the mini Kelly does not come with a clochette and padlock. There is also the Kelly Retourne style, in which Retourne means reverse. This has a softer and slouchier structure, as the bag is sewn and then turned inside out, hiding the exterior side stitching, complete with a piping trim. The Retourne is typically produced in more supple and softer quality leathers like Togo and Clements. The Hermes Kelly bag is also offered in luxurious and precious skins from crocodile to ostrich skin and is available in a wide and vast array of every colour under the rainbow, in various shades and hues. The Hermes Cellier also costs slightly more than the Retourne of the same size, due to the bag structured shape, but the Retourne tends to hold more content than the Cellier. The original Kelly is referred to as Kelly One, and is often sold with a shoulder strap, giving the bag more versatility and features a single ring design. The Kelly 2 was released in the 2000s as an update to the original Kelly. This version features a double ring at the top handle, designed to attach a shoulder strap, offering also multi-purpose carrying options too. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly bag has been an icon transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom. Prices of the Kelly bag starts at upwards of £7,000 for the Mini Kelly. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired items in the luxury fashion industry. A lot of time and skill goes into creating this iconic bag. The Hermes Birkin bag was not actually a runway success initially and it took till the late 1990s, early 2000s to gain its reputation as a symbol of status and wealth. The Hermes Birkin bag is inspired and named after a cultural icon, singer, actress and model, Jane Birkin, an English actress based in France during the majority of her career. The Hermes Birkin bag came into existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and former Hermes chief executive Jean-Louis Dumas, who met by chance on a flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. As Jane was placing her travelling bag in the overhead compartment, the contents of her bag fell out, leaving her scrambling to find all her items. Jane explained to Dumas it was hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets, and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an airplane sick bag, and the two designed a sketch for the Hermes Birkin bag. Shortly after, Dumas crafted and gifted her the finishing bag in return for her lending her name to the design, and thus the Birkin bag was christened. Hermes officially debuted the now iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Hermes Birkin bag is another bag based off of Hermes' 1892 Hut Akurua bag. The Birkin bag is an elegant and beautiful bag and features a sturdy, structured, boxy-like silhouette and is accentuated with elements of precious metal hardware, offered in an option of gold or palladium. The hardware, including the zip, which features the Hermes logo engraved on both sides of the slider, in addition to the solid metal feet called the clue. Other variations of the Hermes Birkin bag offer metal hardware in 18 karat gold or palladium. The Hermes Birkin bag is crafted in solid but supple leather with Hermes's signature saddle stitching. The Hermes Birkin bag features double roll top handles allowing you to carry the bag in your hand or in your arm. The Hermes Birkin bag also features a buckled flap top and clasp, a key and padlock fastening with the keys enclosed in a leather lanyard known as the clochette, attached by looping it through one of the handles. You can lock the Hermes Birkin bag by closing the top flaps over the buckle loops, then wrapping the buckle straps or closing the lock on the front hardware. Many Hermes Birkin bag carriers also tuck the flap inside of the bag 
and buckle the straps with the lock in front, showing off the Hermes in France stamp. The Hermes Birkin bag opens up to a capacious and roomy unlined leather interior with two internal pockets and an open compartment and a large zippered pocket. The Hermes Birkin bag comes in a range of sizes commonly offered in a 25, 30, 35, 40 with travelling bags offered in a 45, 50 and 55 centimetres. There have also been very special edition Birkins in a size 20. The Hermes Birkin comes in a variety of materials and hides from box, calf, clements, epsom and togo to exotic ostrich and crocodile skins. The Hermes Birkin bag is also available in a variety of colours, shades and hues and in every colour under the rainbow in addition to buy and try colour variation options and multi-material options. The Hermes Birkin bag also comes in some Cellier versions, with the first Hermes Cellier Birkin bag introduced in 2010 and reintroduced in 2020. The classic Hermes Birkin has the stitching pattern on the inside and the Birkin Cellier has the stitching pattern on the outside. The Hermes Birkin Cellier is also more sturdy and structured than the classic Birkin style. The Hermes Birkin bag is the ultimate status symbol of wealth, with prices starting at upwards of £8,000 for the Birkin 25. The exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrated history, heritage, tradition and craftsmanship. In 1967, a Hermes designer under the direction of Robert Dumas Hermes, going by the name of Catherine Chaillet, gave birth to her fifth child, a girl by the name of Constance. To honour this momentous event, Catherine decided to name one of her Hermes handbag designs after her child in 1967. When introduced, the Constance bag was an instant hit for the elites and prominent high-powered women in society. The Constance bag was a favourite bag for former First Lady Jackie Kennedy Onassis in the 60s and well sought after by Hermes's famous high-profile clientele. It didn't take long before Hollywood and the rest of the world followed the lead of former First Lady Jackie Kennedy Onassis and the Hermes Constance bag was in such high demand. As a symbol of ultimate class and style, and with the high profile endorsement of the Constance bag, this was all that was needed to make it one of the most desired handbag designs in the world, giving it a reputation that it has endured for decades. The Hermes Constance bag has a sleek, boxy shape with curved edges and an adjustable strap which slides through two hasps offered in either palladium or gold hardware. The shoulder strap is ingeniously looped so you can wear it either long or short, making the Hermes Constance bag a versatile bag that can be worn over the shoulder or as a crossbody bag. The most striking element of the Hermes Constance bag is the iconic piece de resistance of the signature Hermes H logo buckle clasp fastener which adorns the Hermes Constance bag and grabs your attention. The contours of the H-shaped clasp curves gently into the cutout of the Hermes Constance bag's front flap. The H-clasp can also be offered in either a golden or palladium tone, or it can be liqueured, set with diamonds, covered with enamel, or inlaid with a marquetry of precious stones. Most importantly, the H logo clasp is a functional design that opens and closes with the aid of a spring-loaded mechanism concealed on each side of the bar fixed to the front flap. The H is placed firmly centered on the Hermes Constance's front flap with an intersecting horizontal bar. The Hermes Constance bag opens up to an interior made of lambskin lining and to one main compartment with gussets. The gussets being an essential part of the Hermes Constance's design, as this is what gives it its rigid and slim silhouette. 
The gusset also helps the LMS Constance bag to retain its original shape without sagging over time, which enhances the bag's longevity for the long term. Depending on the size, the LMS Constance bag is offered in an option of a single gusset or a double gusset with a zipper and patch pocket, meaning the interior includes one single compartment or two separate compartments. This option allows the customer to choose what best suits their needs as per the interior space that they require. Due to the shape of the Hermes Constance bag, the Constance is a great choice for those fashionistas who prefer compact bags. The Hermes Constance bag is available in a few sizes, including the Micro 14, the Mini 18, the 24, and the wider, narrower versions called the Elon. Other sizes formerly offered included the 23, the 25 and the 29. The Elan is slightly elongated and narrower, with a more rectangular look compared to the other three sizes. A few differing features in the sizes of the Hermes Constance bag is that the Hermes Constance 14 size only comes with one compartment. The Hermes Constance 18 has two slip pockets, one on the front interior, one on the rear interior side of the bag. And the bigger Constance Hermes 24 has a slip pocket on the front and a zip pocket at the rear. The Hermes Constance bag is typically crafted in box, swift and Epson leather, as well as offerings in more exotic and premium skins like crocodile and ostrich. There are also seasonal offerings in canvas and suede. Despite its luxuriousness, the Hermes Constance bag's flexibility makes it an easy wearing bag for those lucky enough to own one. The Hermes Constance bag incorporates Hermes's classical design but can effortlessly match any outfit and is suitable for absolutely any occasion. The Hermes Constance bag is a timeless bag revamping and revitalizing itself with each passing decade and will continue to do so as Hermes constantly adds a plethora of limited edition variations to its roster. The craftsmanship of the Hermes Constance bag is impeccable and is surprisingly one of the most complicated Hermes designs to create. Not only is the Hermes Constance bag useful and a convenient bag because of its hands-free styling, but it is even more desirable because of its exclusivity. The Hermes Constance bag is one of the more harder to acquire Hermes bags. The Hermes Constance bag holds a certain sophistication that makes it another classic Hermes bag and an evergreen fashion icon. Each design brings qualities that makes the Hermes Constance bag unique and a contemporary piece of design and sculpture. The Hermes Constance bag is a bag that has endured the test of time and will go down in history as one of the most unique models in the archives of iconic Hermes bags. The Hermes Constance bag is an innovative design that is remarkably modern even to this day. With sleek minimalist lines, the Hermes Constance bag holds its ground with a quiet elegance, modern yet classic, functional and versatile, chic and effortless. The Hermes Constance bag is a great investment. It's just the sort of bag you can envision a mother passing down to her daughter. Prices of the Hermes Constance bag starts at upwards of £6,500 for the 18 size. The Hermes Bolid bag is one of the most revolutionary handbags ever made. The Hermes Bolid bag has stood through almost a hundred years in fashion and is still going strong. The history of the Hermes Bolid bag is linked to Henry Ford, founder of Ford Motors, who showed Emile Maurice Hermes a new technology at one of his factories. This technology was the use of a zipper to fasten a cloth to the rooftop of Ford's convertible cars. Emile Maurice Hermes used this new invention to revolutionise luxury handbags as we know it. Hermes patented the zip closure mechanism in France and soon after Hermes added zippers to the middle of their bag designs. Especially also in response to a request from his wife who was friends of Ettore Bugatti. She requested a lady's purse inspired by the curves of the grille of the elegant Bugatti in the mid-1920s. 
in particular the torpedo model. The resulting bag was originally nicknamed the Bugatti and called Le Sac pour le Urto, meaning the bag for the day. Designed for storing your valuables during travel or to be easily placed in the trunk of a car. However, it wasn't until 1923 that a smaller version was debuted in a handbag size and renamed and reintroduced as the Bolide. The Hermes Bolide was Hermes's first bag made with a zipper and the first bag in history with a zip. The word Bolide originally meant meteor or comet and then in the 20th century it was turned into a nickname for a sports or fast car going full speed on the road. The Hermes Bolide bag is a minimalistic, graceful and understated classic design with a very spacious interior. The Hermes Bolide bag has a trapezoidal-like dome shape and is equipped with long, curved handles, a removable leather shoulder strap, a padlock and zipper with a clochette. Noting that the smaller sizes do not come with a lock and key, in addition to an oval patch on the exterior. The exterior of the Hermes Bolide bag gorgeously features a lovely stitched pattern too. The original Hermes Bolide bag comes in a few sizes including the 45, the 35, the 31 and the 27. And the updated version of the Hermes Bolide bag, the Hermes Bolide 1923, comes in the size 25 and 30. The most common sizes the most common sizes purchased are the 27 and the 31 cm in the original and the new 30 cm in the 1923 variation. The 45 cm is used for more as a travel weekender bag than an everyday bag and is often popular amongst men. There is also the rare 20 cm bullet bag which is very difficult to find. Like all other Hermes bags there are various styles in the bullet. It comes in a few distinct different styles, the Miu and the Rajiv. The Miu means soft, which quite aptly reflects the fact that this bag is made from a soft leather, which gives the bag a more casual and relaxed look. The Rajiv is hard and sturdy, with a solid upright silhouette and is a good option as a work bag. The Hermes Bolid bag is crafted in Sikkim leather in a soft buttery leather for the Mew because it is thin and lightweight and is crafted in Epson and Clements leather for the Regide. Hermes also creates limited editions in the Bolids too with exotic skins like ostrich. Depending on the versions and styles of the Hermes Bolid bag there are some slight differences. The Hermes Bolid 1923 has no oval tab for customization and shorter handles with no seams running across the bag. The Hermes Web Bolid variation has an external pocket but no oval tab for customization and a two way zipper closure. And the classic Hermes Bolid bag has a single zip closure, an oval tab for customization, and extra long straps. The Hermes Bolid bag is a versatile bag suitable for everyday use and travel. The Hermes Bolid bag is still in demand even though it is not as famous as the Birkin or the Kelly and is still a hard Hermes bag to find. The Hermes Bolid bag represents an essential piece of fashion history with the power to make any outfit look exclusive and expensive. The elegant design is the key for fashionistas that are not loud or over the top. This chic and luxury bag is fantastic. Prices of the Hermes Bolid bag starts at upwards of £5,000 for the Mini. The Hermes Evelyn bag is one of Hermes' most popular crossbody style bags. With a saddle-like silhouette, it was originally designed by Evelyn Bertrand in 1978, who was the head of Hermes' riding department. Evelyn and her team developed a new design for a bag that would be convenient and a hands-free method for horse groomers to carry their equestrian tools. Evelyn settled on a design for a crossbody bag that featured one removable, non-adjustable shoulder strap attached to a single leather body with a small belt closure that also has a snap button mechanism in the top place to ensure its contents. The defining feature of the design was the air hole ventilation feature in the style 
of H-shaped holes designed on one side of the bag, allowing for equestrian tools to dry out whilst in the bag. The shoulder strap is then said to evoke the girth that wraps around the horse's body. The Hermes Evelyn bag was actually designed to be worn with the perforated H side facing the body, but since the bag was moved from stable equipment to a luxury everyday bag, the H is worn facing outwards. The Hermes Evelyn bag was originally relegated to equestrian goods, not intended as an everyday bag, and was unnoticed until the early to mid 2000s, when the bag was mysteriously moved to the leather good department and the Hermes Evelyn bag's popularity rose. Since its introduction, there has been three versions of the Hermes Evelyn bag, the Evelyn the first, the Evelyn the second and the Evelyn the third. Each new generation replacing its predecessor and no new bags in the previous generation is produced when the next generation is introduced. The first Hermes Evelyn bag does not have an external rear pocket like the current versions. The rear pocket was created on the Hermes second Evelyn bag, but only on the smallest model and the most recent Evelyn bag, the Evelyn the third bag, features a rear pocket on every size with an adjustable canvas shoulder strap allowing you to carry the Hermes Evelyn bag crossbody or over the shoulder. The Hermes Evelyn bag is a fuss-free, simple bag with just a small tab press stud button mechanism on a leather tab as its closure, making it perfect for days when you have to run errands. With each generation of the design, the Hermes Evelyn bag has stayed true to the bag's iconic shape and perforated leather H on the front. The Hermes Evelyn bag's signature H usually has 63 holes, 40 for the oval, 9 for each arm of the H and 5 horizontal across the H's middle, with perforations, raw, unfinished edges, evenly spaced out and sized. The Hermes Evelyn bag is usually available in either Epson or Clements leather, and the Hermes Evelyn bag is sometimes offered in canvas and vibrato leather. Regardless of what leather is being used, the interior of the Hermes Evelyn bag is always raw and unlined with no internal pockets. Some options also feature a removable strap made from canvas with a leather trim that matches the colour of the bag. The Hermes Evelyn bag comes in a variety of primary, standard and vibrant colours. You are sure to find a colour to suit you. The Hermes Evelyn III bag comes in four sizes, a mini TPM, a medium PM, a large GM and the extra large TGM, which stands for Tres Petit Model, Petit Model, Grand Model and the Tres Grand Model. With the Hermes Evelyn Mini, the Tres Petit Model discontinued in 2019. And the largest Hermes Evelyn, the Tres Grand Model, is most popular amongst Hermes's male customers. In 2016, Hermes debuted the Evelyn Cellier, with the classic style reduced to its essential silhouette. This version features the Hermes Cellier mark on the outside of the bag, and the giant perforated H's is removed and replaced with an embossed H enclosed within a diamond shape. The Cellier construction also features edges turned out to create a geometric and starkly structured finish, with this version of the Hermes Evelyn crafted in hunter leather. The Hermes Cellier bag comes in a 29cm PM and a 33cm GM. The starting prices for the PM start at upwards of £2,500, with the Cellier Evelyn models starting at upwards of £2,600. The Hermes Evelyn bag is a great entry level bag, the perfect accessory for your first purchase when delving into the world of Hermes, an investment piece that will last a lifetime.